How many cameras can you connect in Ecamm? One is easy, but when you start to increase the number of cameras, you can run into issues. And this is where it starts to get into a, a little bit of a gray area. The number of cameras you can connect, it depends. It depends on the type of capture card you're using. It depends on how much data you're throughputting. And it also depends on how many USB host controllers you have, more commonly known as USB buses. Not that kind of bus. Connecting more than, say, one camera using capture cards means you could be dropping frames, or it just won't work at all. But there's a solution. In fact, if you want to connect multiple cameras to Ecamm without running into any issues, you can actually do this without using these type of capture cards at all. <laughs> Best of all, you only need one Thunderbolt cable. I've seen people connect up to 12 cameras without any problems at all. And I'm going to show you how to do it. Now, first off, if you're only connecting, say, one camera, you're going to be better off sticking with the Elgato 4K cam link. And frankly, if I say only needed to connect, say, two cameras, I'd just get two Elgatos and just see if it worked. But if you're going to be wanting to connect more cameras, then here's the solution. You're going to need a Blackmagic Deathlink Quad HDMI capture card like this. That's a mouthful. It's got four HDMI inputs and even a little fan to keep it cool. Now, there are other companies that make cards like this. In fact, Elgato make one. I've never used that, so don't know whether it would work or not. Likely would. I, mean, I can't see why not. But for the purpose of this video, I'm using the Blackmagic card because, well, I've already got one. And I'll put links to all the stuff that I use below this video. Anyway. As the observant ones of Monsha will have noticed, there ain't no way you're going to fit this in a Mac. There ain't nowhere to put it. And this is why you need a PCIe enclosure. And I'm using an old WC enclosure. But just like the cards, there are other companies that make enclosures like this. Sonic made one. Now, before we jump in and we set this up, if you're getting value from this video, hit the like button. Look at it in the like button like... Leaving a small tip in a restaurant shows you appreciate the effort, and I do appreciate it. Anyway, let's get to setting this up. The old WC enclosure that I have only takes one card, but you can get them that take multiple cards. So you could use two cards and connect eight cameras, or you could use three cards and connect 12 cameras. Well, I don't even know if there's a limit. I don't know if there's a limit to how many you can connect, but I've seen a few people with 12 cameras <laughs> which is insane. Setting this up is really simple. You just open the enclosure by unscrewing it. You place the HDMI card into the slot and press it in firmly just to make sure that it's located correctly. And then make sure that you secure it with this little screw here. Then put it all back together and that's it. If you look on the back, on the back here you've got a Thunderbolt in. That's the one marked with 85 watt. And the other Thunderbolt socket, the one marked with 15 watt, that allows you to daisy chain to other devices, up to 15 watts, of course. I've actually got a hard drive plugged into mine. So from an hardware point, we're now all set up. All you've got to do now is plug the Thunderbolt cable into your Mac. But it won't work just yet. There's actually something else that we need to do. We need to download the Blackmagic desktop video app. If we hop over to the Blackmagic support site, and then I'll just type in Debt link quad. And then if I then scroll down, this is what we want here, the desktop video app. Now the version, it may be different when you download it because they're always updating it. Now after you've downloaded it and then you've installed it and you've, you've plugged in all your cameras and all that, if you then open up your system preferences, here at the bottom, you can see the app. Now we don't need to click it or anything. It's just running in the background. And if we jump over to Ecamm, here you can see I've got all the cameras running. It lists them all and I can jump between them all. I've got an overhead shot up here. I've got a camera over here. I've got another camera over here and I'll just flip back to the main camera. There we go. I can jump through them all. No problem. And this is all running through the deck link card connected to my Mac M1 Mini with just a single Thunderbolt cable. And that's it. That's all there is to it. I hope this video has helped. So until next time, bye for now.